Oh, that's better, it sounds better. Same as well. Okay. Yes, Kofa, it's uh, John Wano, Honey Wano here, speaking. I just want to uh, put a, uh, a notice what happened with our hui at Tahiki Marae. Oh, okay. If that's okay. Yeah, you'd like to talk about that? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, John, um, I go on air at 10 past 7. Yes. Okay, give me a buzz straight after that and I'll put you straight on. Onerai, onerua naia here. Okay, onerua, well we'll do that, okay? No, this is pa. Oh, pa, okay. okay. 10 past 7, okay, kia ora. Okay, then kia ora on that. Okay. 10 past 7. Here. Yeah. Okay, so I'll turn the video off. You're going to put you on. Yeah, 10 past <coughs> 7. 10 past 7. That, that was on it all, eh? No, no, no that was pa. Oh, that was pa. But oh. on it all's dead too. Oh, okay. They're both there. Yeah, so that was on it all. Well, he'd like to hear about what happened down in Tahiki. Yeah. That's why he didn't put you on that 10 bus. Okay, so I'm just recording at the moment, but I'll turn the video off. Um, today, is, uh, <coughs> today is the 20th, Monday, 20th of November 2017. We're going on radio shortly, just to uh, give an outline of what happened at the Tahege Marae uh, for Radio Totoko Northland. Um, uh, and I just want to be, give a bit of account of uh, Hori Tikuri. Um, of the um, uh, Papa uh, to uh, him and to the whole area um, and we'll talk about that shortly before I go back to Auckland and the idea was to join uh, his uh, uh, titles, his survey titles here on these land blocks um, in the vicinity to that Marae, to the uh, um, um, uh, to the church, uh, the Ratna church, to um, um, uh, the place where the uh, Manganunu. Manganunu, the church there and the arrival of the British immigrants in this area uh, uh, where um, um, Rameka uh, was uh, living in Firinaki with the Russells and the British settlement there and also Rawani. So we've got a, a full account of that. Uh, and the Treaty of Waitangi signing here, um, Manganunu, um, and that um, um, area. <coughs> and that's what I wanted to do um, here at the Marae, and invited all the uh, descendants of Hori Tikuri there. And so I'll talk about that on the radio. Um, uh, uh, the incumbent, Morris Baker, um, is uh, uh, what I'm doing with his history uh, to that tupuna on the hill and we've uh, videoed uh, the memorial and identified um, all the whānau running off it and the whakapapa uh, and I'm putting that together as a, as a native uh, land commissioner here uh, for the uh, Refere for Manukau title in the Auckland, uh, Waikato and Manukau districts uh, and in the provincial area of Auckland which stretches right up to Te Reo and Wairua down to Taupo, all that area north of there, <coughs> including the magistrate's courts and this one being a native court in Taheke as being prominent at that time of these survey titles. So that's what I wanted to show for the record. Uh, update to today, the authority of uh, uh, Hori Tikuri is, is widespread in this area of 360 degrees on top of the Maunga where he's buried and his father down on the block. I'm lining those marks up uh, on the grid lines of what I've got from um, the survey maps of uh, Morris. It's uh, vigilantly put those together without lawyers and a single effort to uh, bring the origins of the titles back to where it belongs in the signing of the treaty uh, down here um, at Taheke. <coughs> and on the uh, the uh, Hokianga Harbour where the British first arrived and that's what I'm establishing here. Follow the ship backwards of Admiralty and the flag with the four uh, stars, uh, of eight, eight, eight point star of our flag 
sovereign authority <coughs> here, uh, fixed in this land spot of these two punas. And it was taken across to Titi Marae, but that's a third uh, party of the Queen in the New South Wales title. And this is the King's uh, title here, straight to Britain, uh, which is what we're dealing with on the radio, just to make the announcement of what happened. That is exactly what's happened. We've put into law, uh, and uh, those who did not come to claim uh, Huri Te Kuri, uh, is now fixed on the record as Morris uh, 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 Kaitiaki, or the keeper of his title uh, as the closest to his Urupa and that of uh, Huri's father, Ramaka, that's down on the black block of land that he's on. And all of that area has one block. Uh, the name of that block is um, the whole area. Uh, Rangiafia 1. Uh, and that's encompassing all the blocks in this area and that block as part of the big survey block and I've got all the numbers of that and got copies to go into his book. He's got a uh, native court book with all his titles and his whakapapa as one of the farm families or the Fano that's uh, close uh, with the pecker or baker uh, to uh, Horitikuri to speak for him because no one else is here to speak for him. <clears throat> and I've got that on the record now as being the native uh, land registry uh, of uh, uh, Rangitukia, uh, uh, native court, and Tiki Tiki, uh, where Manahi Parapara Mohini comes from. And he's the minister here at the church uh, down uh, Tahike, Tahike Road, or, or uh, Horeke Road is what they've got, but it's really Tahike Road. The origins of that area of Tahike is a big area that's, um, that's um, been split down into blocks of land and I've identified all the blocks with uh, Morris and he's familiar now with the uh, connections to make it a legal and authenticated title to Britain direct. Um, the way I'm going to Westminster to take these titles back and the flag, to raise the flag there, we'll raise the flag uh, when we get around to um, uh, Cook Street and Refere for Manikau title is no different to this one on a um, original survey, and that's uh, that's the British titles um, as opposed to the Lynn's Australian titles at Titi Marae, uh, as they're connected and connected back to here, um, uh, where the treaty was really signed on these land blocks uh, in the Tahege. County District. So that's what I want to say for now until I go on radio shortly, uh, Radio Totoko in the Northland area before I go back to Auckland and I'll record from there and join these back to Refere for Manika. I'm holding all those titles and also the Ututonga title, Hare Ututonga for Titi Land Blocks, the one house on the whole of the Bay of Islands. I have those titles intact. Now I have these titles here with Morris and Huri uh, Tikuri as being if anybody else had titles, then they would have come to the hui. And since they didn't come to the hui, I have to fix this as being the incumbent or the original uh, uh, hori te kuri as being all those descendants of uh, hori te kuri uh, north of here and uh, in the Napuhi area, which is Hokianga, that's Napuhi itself, the name of the area as connected to here in uh, Taheke, uh, as, as on the maps of that bigger 360 degrees at the highest point of this manga where Hori Tikuri is buried. And the memorial has been unkempt, unkept, and <coughs> uh, Maras is going to clean it and uh, put it um, back uh, in its um, original state so you can read it properly. I've read it as best I can on the video that I uh, uh, took up there to identify that memorial to the whole of this district right up north. I'm making a statement here, fact cited evidence uh, on this video, this YouTube video that Huri Tikuri's area of boundary goes right to Te Rerenga Wairua and all the way down here this way back through the Hokianga district until the other district uh, backing onto it in Whangarei. So uh, with that, we'll go on the radio shortly in five minutes' time. 
uh, or three minutes time, PM past uh, uh, seven, I'll call back to the station and, and go back on and repeat what I've just said now on this video. So the time now is uh, eight minutes uh, past the seven. We're going on at ten past seven. So I'll just wait a couple more minutes and uh, <clears throat> in fact I'll just keep talking till the radio and well, Morris will ring the radio station again and I'll go straight on and continue this video as uh, much as I can get in one uh, shot. So Morris, the number is 0800 880-880-899. That's Radio Totoko and I'll be speaking to Pa. I'll just say the same things again. Pa, it's uh, Hawani Wan or John Wan or he's speaking. Kia ora, John. Kia ora. I'm at Morris uh, Baker's place at the moment, so I'll give yeah, nice... Just going on there. Just stay there. Okay. Kira, am I on here? Oh, no, she's going to have a crack here. Mm. Scritchy. Thank you. 
Kia ora, uh, Hoani uh, Kahaki Wano here, or John. I'm sitting here with uh, Morris Baker in uh, Tahege, and we had a hui on uh, uh, Pofiri on Friday, and then the hui on Saturday, mainly for a Hori Tikuri <coughs> on his Whakapapa, and for the connections to this area, to the Treaty of Waitangi, signing here and also the original native titles. Now, I've been acting quite some time uh, with the uh, native uh, court titles for some years, and also um, been at uh, Titi Marae with uh, uh, the Hui uh, right through the years, and 20 years plus now, and just identifying the origins of the British titles uh, and uh, a difference to the land information New South Wales titles. <clears throat> so now I've been uh, with uh, Morris through all the uh, uh, survey land titles, the originals, before they got split up into the smaller blocks. Now the hui was to identify uh, Hori Te Kuri on the top part of the Urupa in, uh, above the uh, Marae, as being the prominent uh, uh, leader at the time the British identified him as having holding mana to the whole area. So my job was to uh, fix, this is the first time I've been on this marae, I've been on all most of the other marais in the Napui region, although I'm from Ngāti Pro in Rangituki Atikitiki and Te Araroa, that has a connection with the Rangitukia uh, Native Land Court with uh, uh, Captain James Reddy Clendon visiting there to um, um, this area in Taheke as being the first point of call from Britain direct with a native court here in uh, Taheke I've identified as original to Hori, one chief to Referefa Manikau one chief in the Auckland area of provincial Auckland that stretched from Taupo right across from east to west right to Te Reringa Wairua. Now I'm joining those up, the three magistrate courts from Rangitukia where Manahi Parapara Mohini comes from with myself as being Moriori original surname, the uh, uh, Parapara and the Mohini and the Manukau in Auckland. So up here in the uh, uh, northern area is Okiato, uh, across in Russell. Uh, that's the other nat native magistrate court, and this one here, and the other one in Awaroa, in Helensville, 
that's the one where the banks started from, the Old Ore Bank to the BNZ Bank to the League of Nations to the United Nations to the World Bank that's connected back through this whakapapa that's up on this hill here. So with a lot of that information uh, that uh, Morris is holding on behalf of all Ngāpuhi that uh, te, te, uh, Hori Tikuri chief held a lot of mana uh, to this whole area where I can uh, report or record, put on the record for Britain, which I'm connected to right now at uh, uh, Westminster to take this new information of old information with that uh, one chief uh, to signing the treaty was signing here uh, in this area uh, of Hokianga uh, I've identified on these titles. It's very difficult to look through the survey, survey office number uh, of the British title to identify the origins of the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi. It's right here and uh, I was hoping that a lot of the uh, um, hapus and their chiefs that are uh, descendants of uh, uh, Hori Te Kori to come here as on their memorial sitting below the, manga, uh, the top uh, um, part of the manga. He, um, Hori Te Kori is on the highest part of the, uh, 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 that mound and his father Ramaka is on the land blocks at the back of uh, Morris. Uh, on those blocks uh, where he's got a manga also. I've identified that. I'm linking those marks on the original documents that he has to mark those uh, points. One point on Ramaka's Uripa on his manga with uh, his son Hori uh, uh, Tikuri on the manga there with that point to the Ratana church down where Morris is where living, where where. where He's made his home that uh, Ratna Church I'm sleeping in and I'm quite happy to announce that uh, uh, I'm feeling quite humble here at the moment. On that point, to the point where the treaty was signed uh, at that uh, uh, Manganunu and the church there where uh, uh, the uh, Apotoro um, Manahi Paraparamohini is going to be meeting us shortly and have a karakia to bless these documents that are going to uh, Britain, to Westminster, waiting for these in the magistrate, the Westminster Magistrate Court where it came here, where all that legal and uh, authenticated title jurisdiction of authority from the King himself, King William IV, on that flag with the eight point star, and that's 1830 to 1837 period of that flag. I'm identifying the flag as a private contract of trade between Britain and here, this Maunga, and Hori Tikuri to uh, Referefa Manukau in the uh, Afitu region of the south of the uh, uh, Manukau Harbour, that's the lookout in uh, Waiuku area, as being the southern end of the uh, Manukau Harbour to the northern area of Puponga Marae where the uh, Moriori Manukau tribe was pre-sold in 1820 to 1830 period by Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau to one George, King George the fourth, the period of 1820 to 1830. So we're joining those two contracts of Tira Waikato in uh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court with uh, Lieutenant uh, William Simons and his son William Simons came to Manukau Heads and bought those titles there and that became a referee for Manukau's title and it was connected to this Magistrate Court in Taheke to Hori Tekuri and that's what I've stitched up here. I was hoping all the descendants were here. We've identified uh, 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 Morris as being the caretaker here to look after those titles that I'm putting together to join those three magistrates courts up the Okiato Magistrate Court in Kururareka up on top of Mikey Hill where the flag has been flying this flag, the 1835 flag and the 1834 flag in one uh, was identified as the British title and it came across here 
uh, to Taheke, from Taheke it went across to Mikey Hill and uh, the Navy, I'm talking about the Royal British Navy, here the district of Firinaki where the uh, Russell family and the uh, Busby is in the lower districts, lower levels there and uh, my friend Moira Hoffman Russell uh, lives in Rotorua, so she has the history of here to back up the, uh, 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 the British side of these titles to identify herself as living in this area at the time in that low area of boundary in Firinaki to say what I'm saying is true and correct. So uh, for the record part, I just wanted to let the people in the via and the listeners know that I've been on this trail for over 20 years with Moi Te Māti Manukau IV and his tūpunas Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau uh, in 1822-1830 with King George IV, transfer of that title to uh, Referefa Manukau and King George, King William IV, which is our king today that we are connected to uh, that's uh, here in this area and in the Titi Marae area and Waitangi. So the Waitangi Marae is a native magistrate court. We opened that up myself and um, uh, um, uh, 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 Hohepa Epiha and Willie Pater and Kingi Toda, we opened up the, ma ma the, the Waitangi Marae as that ship of Admiralty there on dry land uh, with our flag, the 1834 flag flying with the British flag and the Union Jack flag on the top. So those are the contracts that I'm talking about, a private contract where uh, this all happened. So that's, uh, that's as much as I want to say for now. It's just that that was the hui what we had and uh, we have uh, put that into the minutes here and anybody that wants to know about that will be online for them. And uh, connected up to Te Ungo Waka Marae in uh, Auckland, Epsom and uh, with Annette, uh, Annette uh, Hagaraya there and she, uh, on the 11th of November 2017, that's last Saturday, we had a, uh, uh, an anniversary for Refer for Manukau, the 11th of November 1862, as the New Zealand Native Land Act uh, that formed all the native titles here, the British native titles, and we had a celebration there and brought that mana and the Māori here, and we take it back there, we're going to bless it with... Uh, uh, Manahi shortly, uh, the book and those titles at, at, uh, at the church of Manganunu and then I'll be going back to Auckland to stitch it all up together back to Ngāpui and the Moriori and the, uh, the uh, Ngāpui uh, join together those two chiefs, the Refa Refa Manukau and also um, uh, Hori Te Kuri. So uh, that's all I want to say for now. So I'm um, just finished off this video. I'm thankful that the uh, video is running, and we have got this on record for uh, Morris since uh, he is here on this property uh, for Hori Tikuri. Uh, Paramount Chief I call him because he's he's on the deed titles and his name is identified I've identified his uh, uh, survey land it's got a SO number on it which means survey office of British title uh, and not so much the land information titles that um, run by the government here in New South Wales Australia we're talking straight British straight to Westminster and that's where I'll be going uh, where uh, Jerry Matiparai uh, has gone on behalf of the New Zealand government, but I'm going on behalf of the Tupunas here and in and and the resident here, Morris, and he will be going with me and his wife, <coughs> Marianne, will be going uh, to represent uh, Hori Tikuri in person to say I'm here. I'm standing here on the Monga next to him, 
uh, and all else uh, is below the manga and he's got the authority and the authenticity on these documents that I put together as a native land commissioner of lands here in uh, New Zealand, Aotearoa, Aotearoa, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. So it's the same title right through the Pacific Islands that we identified uh, uh, this weekend uh, with no, uh, no one to challenge uh, uh, and now I, I, I'm happy to be on the record uh, as being this video as cited fact evidence, uh, fixed, authenticated, signed by myself um, and Morris, uh, Morris Baker or Pecker, uh, but uh, he is the um, caretaker or the uh, uh, <coughs> descendant, bloodline descendant and the um, uh, authority to speak uh, only for um, Hori Te Kuri, uh, and no one else because he's resident here also he has the records that I've uh, seen uh, similar to the Manukau I'm the executor of the uh, Moriori Manukau Trust uh, on behalf of uh, uh, Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau 1820-1830 and also Rewharewa Manukau 1830 to 1837, King George, King William the Fourth. The other king was King George with um, um, Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau. So we're joining those two together in the same contract with that flag, the 1834 flag uh, that uh, uh, started off from uh, Te Rawaikato right through. And now this um, um, Taheke area of the Treaty of Waitangi. We're just saying that it was signed here and uh, I'm not going to contest any other signings because those are secondary or third party to a two party contract between <coughs> uh, Morris uh, Baker uh, and his ancestor Hori Tikuri and Referee for Manukau and James Reddy Clendon on behalf of the British. It's on the record on the statements of documents that I have and receipted with Referee for Manukau and uh, Clendon, uh, Rogan, uh, my family, uh, Rogan, uh, Judge Rogan in Awaroa uh, Magistrate Court in Helensville signed on behalf <coughs> of the uh, British uh, government in Westminster with um, with uh, Rewha Manago. That's on the uh, documents on the books that I've given him uh, a copy. I've given uh, money, uh, para para Mohini, on behalf of uh, his direct descendant of Moriori Manukau, and myself the other third book. I've given a book to um, Bundy Waitai uh, for uh, for Natikuri, and uh, another book for uh, Hiruini Kraka or Sowen Clark for the um, for the um, um, British uh, resident here. Uh, the Clark name of the uh, courts at that time. He's, uh, he's um, got one of those books, but uh, I wanted them to come here uh, for Nati Kuri with uh, uh, Hori Te Kuri. So because they didn't come, uh, uh, because he said uh, that they're going to join up with uh, um, the Maori government and uh, uh, the, uh, the hapus uh, at uh, Titi Marai, because he, I want to say for the record on this video, connected up, that Bundy said that the mana uh, was at Titi and not here at Taheke Marai. So that divided us, he's divided us as him and um, Hiriwini uh, going that way into the jurisdiction of the Queen, Victoria and Queen Elizabeth and Titi Marai and left um, left I've switched it off left uh, Manahi, uh, the other signatory, uh, and myself, um, John Wanoa, on the king's side here in Tahiki Marai. So I'm saying here today on the record that the king came straight here from Britain and <clears throat> went around to the other side to set up the Native Magistrate Court in Okeata, Russell, uh, and with the uh, flag on top of Mikey Hill above Russell, and then Hon Honeheke cut the flag down four times and they blew the place up, the British blew the place up, 
there was the end of the native court there. And Kiti, there was no more admiralty, court martial law, and law of the sea, law of the king, king of the sea, which is what I'm holding on as the surrogate king William the Fourth, the surrogate King George the Fourth, the surrogate King George the Third, the father of King George the Fourth and King William the Fourth, and the surrogate King William the Third, the creator of the Bank of England and the Pound Notes, and the eight point star municipalities to collect the rent for the king, uh, possessions, and his royal revenue in the courts, and that's on our flag, the eight point star in the four corners of the earth. You'll notice that John Key is wearing the eight point star of municipalities, and I'm wearing the eight point star on my hat and on my clothes. Uh, I have one or the other is holding that authority and jurisdiction, and it happens to be this flag and Morris and us at where the treaty was signed here, and not so much John Key on behalf of the Queen and everyone over in Titi Marae and, and Waitangi Marae, where the ship on the dry land is parked, is King William the Fourth ship and King George the Fourth ship and King William the Third ship of Admiralty with the British flag on one side and the Eight point star flag on the other side, the King George IV and King William IV flag. We are saying the 1834 flag is a declaration of war flag, which is this, that's to deter pirates from coming in between us, the first party, the second party, us, Morris, and myself, uh, and uh, uh, Manahi, the three that are speaking for Hori Tikuri here and his origins of British settlement before they went anywhere else in this country. And so I'm saying the flag is a flag of war to keep third parties out of the way between a straight line from here, in this point we're sitting inside this church, straight to Britain, Westminster Magistrate Court. That's our partner, is the Magistrate Court Captain or Sir Philip Jones, First Lord of the Sea, the Royal British Navy, is our authenticated legal title partnership of Admiralty and the Court Martial Law to make law. We made law on Saturday. We made law that is on the record that Morris is the incumbent. Um, Descendant to speak on behalf of Horitikuri, the Paramount Chief and commercial land owner. His name is right there on the document as by himself on these blocks. So that's all I want to say in this uh, video because we are, Morris is going to take me back to catch my mana bus back to Auckland and we'll be having another hui tentatively on the 28th of November. 2017 at Tuunga in Ipsa on the corner of Clyde Street number one and Manukau Road on the way from Broadway to towards the airport. So uh, at this stage we won't announce uh, it uh, officially until I check with Annette uh, uh, Hakarai. Uh, she's the uh, uh, in charge of the marae and uh, we will have a hui there to finalise the connection of this uh, legal authority of Morris and with the um, uh, Hori Tikuri, officially from this area in Hokianga and the whole of Ngāpui, since the Ngāpui area district is in, Hok in uh, um, Kaikohi, it's joined to these land blocks and I was looking at all his titles and all the blocks of lands in the Native Land Court and also Lynn's and the number on the gate which is a blue number and white uh, that identifies a land block and uh, meters from the corner of the main road or, or so that identifies his block, his name on it and that's all that matters. He's, he's the resident owner of these land blocks. He's got 10 of them he's, re he's uh, recovered from the system. 
My job is to put them back into the deed titles and put them back into the British titles and also the titles of uh, Refere for Monaco's back into the customary title and take the mortgage off it and all the Lynn's titles off it so they can't use them to borrow money from the banks anymore. We have a pound note of King Tafio in the Waikato region that I'm using at the moment as debtor instruments against the judgment debtors in the third party which happens to be Waitangi Marae, <coughs> those um, uh, Iwi Maori trustees uh, hold up. And um, Morris is having a little chuckle at the moment because he's got new found house that were always there. He had all the instruments. All he needed to do was identify how they were. <laughs> so we put our two Jim, brains together. Put our put two brains together, and I'm, I'm happy to announce that the Maori Radio, or to Radio Totoko, has let us go on to identify who we are. The British want to find who we are between all of the Maoris, and some Maoris are good, some Maoris are not so good, and some Maoris have the information that matters, and hold the right papers, deeds, papers. So all my job really was to do was to stitch them together and send them back to Britain and go with it. We're taking the flag, we're going to hoist it up down at, at uh, Manganunu, on, on the place where they've signed the treaty, in the church and have a karakia uh, over there with Manahi, he's the uh, Apotoro, or the Ratana minister. He loves this little house. It's only seven metres by seven metres, and that's where the authority is. It's right here. We're going to church every day. Well, Morris, Morris goes to church every day. Yes, he's a little lucky here. If you want to come to the church one day, we're going to do it up and make it nice. And we're going to start looking after the Urupa because it needs a wet and forget on it and a bit of a scrubber so that it can be read properly. And we're going to have another hui just for that and to say who he is. And we'll be back again. And hopefully all the whanos will come to his hui and say good things and be one. It's, it's uh, bring everybody together. And that's the way, that's the way we're thinking of how to bring the whanos together. One whano equals a lot of whanos. We're going to build this whano up and all the other whanos are going to come in the classroom and listen and learn. Because it's all in these books. All the history is here, right here, in these books. And so I had a good look, and we suddenly found lots of things to talk about in this church. And I'm happy to say I'll go home, and the next time I come back, Marcel rescued me, um, rescued me again. He rescued me from, from over there in Titi, and they didn't want me anymore. So I started walking home, and he picked me up and bring me to his home. So that's how we are today. I'm happy to say I've got a home to come to from the Auckland and the East Coast at any time because I'm well fed, I'm happy, I'm going home happy, and they're going home happy too. They're already home in this little church. Thank you very much, people. I'm having a little bit of fun and a little chuckle because the radio is nice to me. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, thank you for letting me come and talk and say, what happened? What really happened here? It's historic. It was being brushed aside. It has been said quite. Taheke is really a nice place. It's not. It's not uh, something to be overlooked. And now you can come to Taheke and find lots more history here that hasn't been seen before. And we need to talk about it. So we can all be happy. Thank you very much from Morris and me. Uh, we'll see you again. Uh, kia ora. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say a word, Morris? No, no, no he's no. okay. He's gone away. No way. Well, today is, is, um, <clears throat> today is uh, uh, Monday, uh, the 20th of November 2017. I go back to Auckland and uh, Hope you have a nice day. We are having a nice day. Bye. Oh,